You're watching Power Nation. Today on Music City Trucks, we're back on our Ram 1500 project and we take it up a notch with a full suspension and brake upgrade. Plus, we throw some new rubber on it and take it off-road. Stay in it, stay in it. Welcome to Music City Trucks. I'm Eric Smart, and we're back with our 2013 Ram 1500. And the last time you saw this truck, we took it next door for a dyno run, and we took it out on the road to really test it out. And we found out we've got a very solid truck here. So we did a bunch of maintenance under the hood and a bunch of cosmetic work so that it looks good and it's gonna stay reliable, but that doesn't make a build. So today, we're gonna be getting started with a fresh exhaust system so that the sound matches the look, some new wheels and tires, some fresh suspension parts so that we don't break anything, a lift kit to really bring it to the next level, some upgraded brakes so that we can actually stop this thing, and a little treat from our friends over at Holly that's gonna help us pump our dyno numbers up. So, let's get that lift kit put on. Before we actually install this lift kit, I wanna show you why we chose what we did. This truck came factory with air ride suspension, which means it's got bags here on the rear axle and two more in the front where the shocks would be on a non-air ride truck, here. So we decided that we wanted to maintain that system rather than delete it because we want good ride quality and we like being able to adjust the ride height whenever we want. So I'm gonna show you what we picked. What you see on the table here is a BDS four inch high clearance suspension system for 2013 to 2015 Ram 1500s with factory air ride. Now this is gonna give us four inches of lift while maintaining all the functionality of our factory air system. This kit is all inclusive. It's got everything you need to get your lift put on and get right back on the road. You can clear up to 35 by 12 and a half tires and these high clearance cross members are gonna make sure you don't have to worry about anything underneath you when you're off road. So without further ado, let's get it installed. The most important part of installing a lift kit is to follow the manufacturer's instructions that come with it. Before we tear it down any further, put a line stopper on here. Keep that from leaking all over the place. We'll install the extended brake line that we got from BDS. Get this brake line connected to this new hose, hopefully without making too big of a mess. With the brake line installed, we can finish tearing down the front suspension. Some of the parts take a little persuasion. Let's get this airbag disconnected. Drive shaft is next. At least it's not rust. Yeah. Followed by the rear cross member and front differential. First, I'll unplug the harness. And we're gonna leave these in just a little bit until we get our jack under there. Then remove the differential. One more bolt to pull out of there. There we go. Now, before we start putting this front end back together, we need to do some trimming here to make sure the new cross member will fit. Now we'll just connect these two lines across right here. Whenever you're cutting or welding on any vehicle, make sure you disconnect the battery. 
Well, I think that just about does it for our disassembly up front. So I'm gonna clean all this mess up and we'll start putting it back together. Coming up next, we bring this project to a halt with some new upgraded brakes. Well, we've almost got our front half of this lift kit installed on our 2013 Ram 1500, but before we can finish it, we need to get our suspension components reinstalled. So we went to the AutoZone Pro website and picked up these Duralast Gold control arms and hub assemblies to make sure that all our parts under there are new. Now, these Duralast Gold parts are rigorously control tested to make sure that you get the highest quality parts possible. They also come with corrosion resistant coating to make sure that they're not gonna rust on you. Now, all these parts are OE direct replacements and they're gonna make sure to provide you with safe, reliable performance both on and off road for as long as they possibly can. Let's get them put on. We're gonna start with the upper control arms. Get this air spring reinstalled. Man, these new steering knuckles that came with the lift kit are no joke. Right, there's upper. Now, before we get this reconnected, we gotta make a little bit of an adjustment to our inner tie rod. We don't need that. Because the mounting point is higher on the knuckle, the inner tie rod needs to be shortened about 5 eighths of an inch. Get this new tie rod end put on here. We're getting pretty close now. Now we're gonna be reusing our factory sway bar links with an extension that was provided with the lift kit. Just gonna bolt right back into place. Our lift kit and our suspension is back in, so all that's left to get done up on the front before we get to the back is to get our new brakes put on. Now, we've upgraded everything else under the front of this truck, and the brakes are no different. So we headed over to Power Stop and we picked up their Z36 truck and tow brake upgrade kit. Now it comes with drilled and slotted rotors for better heat dissipation, zinc coated to make sure that they're not gonna rust super fast, and we got low dust carbon fiber ceramic Z36 brake pads to help give us maximum stopping power. Now what's nice about these pads is they send you the break-in procedure, that way you can ensure you're gonna get the longest possible life out of this brake system. Now we're gonna start with the front. Uh, I already got everything good and greased up, so this should just slip right together. Get this routed out of the way later on. That's looking better already. Let's go do the rear. Get our bracket with our new pads on here. That looks awesome. So we're starting to run short on parts for this lift kit, which means it's just about done. All we've got left is to finish up the rear, but we still have a bunch of other work to do to the truck before we call it finished. So we brought Frankie back over. He's gonna help me get this exhaust kit put on. Yeah, we're trying to improve the flow a little bit, but also really give this truck a cool sound. So we got this Flowmaster catback exhaust system from Holly. It's a full stainless kit, which is gonna be great because it's not gonna rust out or corrode. It comes with all new clamps. It's a slip together system, so it's really easy to do. It's gonna use all the factory hangers. So it should be pretty short work. And we got these new cool black tips to match the rest of our truck, get rid of some of that chrome. We need to access the fitting on top of our rear air springs, so we're gonna remove the wheel well liner. 
With the old exhaust removed and the remaining pipe cleaned up, Frankie can install the new Flowmaster Catback Kit. Before final tightening, make sure your exhaust tips are lined up where you want them. That's looking pretty good. Yep, I am actually done. Everything's tight. I got these aligned the best we could up in the air and stuff, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited to hear this thing now because I think it's going to sound pretty sweet. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks for your help. I'll I'll come get you later. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, this is all too complicated for me, and it looks like you have it under control. So, uh, yeah, just let me know if you need help with anything else, man. Of course. All right, time to get these new shocks installed that BDS sent us with the kit. All right, time to get our bags installed. Be very careful here. Make sure we got it oriented the right way, because these only install one way. Just like that. Make sure all your clips are in. Get this track bar bracket on. First, we gotta drill a hole. like that. Well, all we've got left before this lift kit is officially done is to torque everything down. And I think you know what comes after a lift kit. Next up, we get this truck rolling and tune in to some horsepower gains. Well, if you guessed that wheels and tires were the next step on our Ram 1500 with the lift kit being finished, you would be correct. So we headed over to Method Race Wheels and picked up a set of their 701s, and we got a hold of Continental Tire and picked up a set of these General Grabber X3s. Now we think these are really gonna round out the build nice, especially with everything else being blacked out. So let's get them mounted. Nice and easy. Well, we got all the tires mounted on the wheels, which means we're just about ready to get them on the truck. But before I put the last one on, I wanna talk about these tires that we got from Continental. Now, these are the General Grabber X3s, and these tires are designed for both on-road performance and off-road traction. Now, just because they give you a good ride on the road doesn't mean they sacrifice off-road performance. You got nice, deep tread, good sidewall lugs, and it looks awesome. Now. Like I said, this isn't just for looks though. You're gonna get great performance in mud, dirt, as well as wet and winter conditions. So we know that this truck is gonna stay safe no matter where we drive it. Now, it's torquing time. We're gonna to torque everything down to the lift kit manufacturer's specifications. Ugh, well, that just about does it for getting everything torqued down there. And we are almost ready to take it next door again, but we still gotta start it up. Oh, we should really put something here. Oh no, that won't do. We don't feel like replacing these nasty seats, so we're gonna cover them up. Well, it's much better thanks to these Covercraft seat covers. Well, we're back over here in engine power with our Ram 1500 and it is strapped up and ready to go on the dyno. But before we run it, we're gonna go ahead and install one more thing. That's gonna be this Diablo Sport Intune i3 tuner that we got from Holly. Now it comes preloaded with tunes that are dyno tested and proven to increase your performance. And it can also help you custom tune things like rev limiters, speed limiters, timing, and a whole lot more. Now, this is a simple plug and play system. They even send you a quick start guide. So pretty much anybody can grab this and squeeze more power out of any vehicle that they have. Let's get it in. Now that we've got it hooked up to the truck, we've just got a few buttons we need to press, load in our new tune, and we're ready to give this thing a run. Since we dynoed the truck last time with 87 octane in it and it still has that same fuel, we're gonna load the 87 octane tune that comes preloaded with this tuner. And if you ever feel like going back to your stock tune, 
this tuner does save a copy of what it pulls off. So you can always restore it if you ever need to go back. All right, well, I think we're all good and set up here. I mean, obviously we're trying to beat what we had last time, which was 268 horsepower and 275 pound feet. And I don't know, Frankie, I think with what we did, we should be able to beat that. I mean, we should see some games. I'm not sure how much, hopefully, you know, 10, 15. That, I mean, I would be really, really happy with that. So give her a rip and we'll find out. Do you All remember right. how to do it? We're gonna find out. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh boy. Back up. Power is now 278. Yeah, well, that is it. a bump up. 278 for power, 291 for torque. Wow. So that's, that's pretty good at the tower. I mean, that's yeah. that's a step up. I'd say back it up. Let's do another one. We'll back it up and see what it puts for, puts for numbers. All right, let's go again. One more. One more. Coming up, we head out to the woods and see what this truck can really do. Well, our Ram 1500's first run here on Engine Power's chassis dyno did show some gains with a result of 278 horsepower and 291 pound-feet of torque. But we're gonna give it another go and see how much more we can get out of this freshly tuned Hemi. Let's see what we got. A little bit better. Yeah. That two, felt better. Yeah, 284 and 297 for torque. So wow. I just boop, stepped right up. That's that's pretty solid. I mean, that's huge gains. Now the engine's probably gonna get hot. We probably won't get any more out of it. But I think for for like the tuner and the easy exhaust and the easy cold air, that's that's pretty serious gains for a basically stock engine. So yeah, that's especially awesome. one with 167 and a half thousand miles yeah. on it. That's not bad at all. Yeah, well, I mean I think that's awesome. That's that's you measured gains, the truck looks awesome. I think I'd call that a success. All right, well, you know what we gotta do now? We gotta go drive it. Heck yeah. Coming? If He's you not want coming. Me to. He's got work to do. Oh, you need him back here He's now? Yeah, down, you know. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm gonna shut that one down. He, he, he actually, chain. you know, he, he was he was actually liking working on the truck, but uh, we got we got a long laundry list of stuff we have to do in here, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna commandeer him back. Yeah, we'll, we'll right. help you get unstrapped, and I guess that's as far as we'll go. All right. Heck yeah. Wow! Hey, welcome back. Hey, glad to be back. Especially, it looks like you uh, you did all the work already. Yeah, no, you showed up just in time. That's I got a, great. I got a fun day planned. You want to hop in? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. In my opinion, it turned out pretty good. But what do you think? No, I think it looks great. You know, this is one of those things that. Uh, it was a little weird for me to just like hand everything over to you and say, take it from here, bud. But you did a fantastic job. The truck looks awesome. Yeah, it was a little bit weird not having you around for it, but you know, I think it was good. And Frankie was a huge help getting everything finished on here. And it, it came out a lot nicer than I expected. I, I just need to know, how does that make you feel? I'm not really a Dodge guy usually, but I think I like this one. It still rides really well. I'm glad that we found that uh, lift kit from BDS because then, you know, keeping the air ride on here, it rides like a normal truck, but we've got that extra four inches and a lot better presence here on the road. I wouldn't be too hurt to be seen driving this. And that that's a lot coming for me because I've been stuck on Chevys my whole life. I think you knocked it out of the park. I think de-chroming it, de-badging it and all that was a good call. So you got a new fender. I knew the fender was missing and the tailgate was trashed. Pretty much a full visual transformation. Lots of maintenance work to make sure that it's still gonna be reliable, you know, 50,000 miles from now. Yep. And, you know, of course the lift kit. And with, with a lift kit, you have to do wheels and tires. But the real question is now, what can this thing do off-road? Well, what better place to get a little mud on the tires than out at Woolies? All right. There's some pretty solid trails out here. Oh yeah, should come after it rains. Let's see just how high clearance this high clearance suspension system is. <laughs> Woo I forgot to roll my window back up. <laughs> it's always a good day when you need to use the wipers. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't believe you've been hiding this place from me. This takes me back, man. It's great. This looks like this could definitely be fun. Woo! Oh, man. This thing is muddy. Well, what'd you think? Uh, I, it's awesome. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, you got she, it all dressed up now. Yeah, she's ready to go out and party. I think, uh, speaking of partying, I think we need to get back to the shop and get to work because, well, I don't have any grease under my fingernails, so. <laughs> yeah, we can't stay out here all day, so we gotta get back. Look at that. Okay. 